Have you ever gone to say something, but you forget what you were going to say before you can say it? It isn't just brain a brain fart. It's the memory striders. Memory striders? What are those? You may be asking that, aren't you? Memory striders are tiny demons that feed on humans' thoughts and memories to transport it. They, when they take a small share of it to feed themselves, then represent them to their queen, the memory stalker. If the queen is pleased with the offering, she takes it to feed herself. Although if she isn't satisfied, the striders must deliver it back to the human where it came from. Depending on where the stalker is at the moment, it may take them longer to deliver it back but if they choose not to warp. If the memory stalker enjoys your memories and thoughts enough, it will start to take them for herself. She normally comes to retrieve them late at night or whenever your sleep periods are, so she doesn't get caught. If she is caught, then she'll show you her true face and lets out an ear-bursting scream, leaving you paralyzed. So it's a better option to let her take the memories and go. It's not even painful. She just transmitted a brain where you have been when she is 20 feet away from you, and then she retreats. They control this too. Sometimes when even transporting your memories, they'll pick up bits of the future. How? Well, to arrive for the stalker faster. They warp, sending them through the future, but sometimes they pick up small fragments that attach to your memories. The future they travel through depends on the memory that they, you are, they are carrying. When returning your memories to that stalker didn't want, they drop fragments of the future into your memory bank, making it so that the memory is implanted in you. And when the event occurs, you'll get the assistance of deja vu. Remember this, my friend. Take care. Do not search for this stalker. If you get paralyzed, you are screwed. I forgot to mention something, no. When you're paralyzed, the striders will feed on your flesh, turning you into one of them, so they can help you collect memories for their queen. Take care of my, my friend. Take care. Well, this was definitely a good, interesting pasta. That was Memory Striders, a Cree pasta. My final thoughts on this story? I'm looking at the comments, and one of them actually um, said that it seemed like instead of writing the story, they're just explaining the plot. But that's probably just one person that didn't really care for the story or whatever. But to me personally, I thought it was interesting. I mean, the concept of it was actually quite nice. I mean, maybe not the best story I've seen, but this is definitely not even the terrible pastas that I've ever, you know, seen. I mean, I know it's a short story, but at the same time, here's the thing when it comes to us. When we're about to say something to a friend or family member and we forget, it happens. It happens in life. We do forget what we're supposed to say. It happens to everybody. It, I mean, it, it happens to me pretty much from time to time, especially when I'm about to say something while I'm saying it in a video. I just sometimes most likely forget what I was going to say or it doesn't come back to me till much later or something. So that's why I pretty much just tell people that, you know, if I miss anything, they can let me know in the comments below. I do remember um, Creepypasta Project actually um, narrated this story and I thought this was a pretty interesting one. So I thought I would, you know, give this one a go. Maybe this may not be the, you know, the 100% best, most brilliant Cree pasta that I've ever seen, but it's definitely not terrible. It's not a terrible story, but it does have some points. Like, one of them being some of the stuff that was said didn't really make any sense, but in the, at the same time, I'm kind of a little... I don't really know what to say, actually. This is kind of one of the reasons why I kind of don't really understand. I mean, there was parts of the story that I literally could not understand whatsoever about a certain part. Because it honestly, it honestly really makes me wonder about it. So, I definitely have to say this is definitely not the most terrible pasta. But it could have been, you know, explained better. 
Like, maybe if the story was a little longer, maybe that it would give it a more interesting concept. I mean, the concept of it seems interesting that it just, I just don't really know. It just kind of makes me wonder more about, um, about this. I mean, I, I just don't understand it. There were parts of the story that I really just didn't understand, but it, but at the same time, though, it, it's just really interesting. So I definitely got to say this is not maybe the worst story in the world, but it definitely is not terrible. So I'm willing to give it that. But yeah, that's all pretty much all I have to really say. Now, um, I can't really say anything of what I did not like, but I personally thought it was a you know, an alright story. Maybe not 100% perfect, but it definitely wasn't a terrible, terrible pasta. I mean, if it was a little longer, maybe have, go more into detail about it, that definitely would help us out with the story a lot better. That's just me, but I personally would like to hear what you all like, like to think. Because I personally would like to know. But, like I said before, um, yeah. Uh, to the author of the story, I cannot seem to find out who you are. So, to the author of the story, if you are listening to this story, uh, feel free to let me know who you are in the comments below. I'll be sure to give you proper credit in the description. I will leave a link as well for those who want to check out this story if they haven't. And for those who want to, you know, read it, you are more than welcome to do so as well. So, anyways, this story was not terrible, but... Could have been a little better. But that's just me, though. That's just what I think. Well, I guess that's pretty much all I have to say. I can't really say, you know, what else I, you know, you know, what else was there in the story. But I definitely have to say, you know, this story was not terrible. But it could have been better. I mean, it's not terrible, but it wasn't perfect. But I still found it enjoyable, to be honest. So, I guess with that being the case and with that being said, I personally really enjoyed this story. Now, I'm going to say this is just simply my own personal opinion. And if you happen to disagree with me, that's perfectly fine too. We're all entitled to our own opinions in regards to these um, creepy pastas. And this is just simply my own personal thoughts. I give this story a, um, well, I give this one a 9 out, 8 out of 10. Not terrible, but. There were some parts of it that were confusing, and it kind of ends on a cliffhanger a bit. In a sense, it kind of does end up in a little bit of a cliffhanger, but that's just from what I I see personally. But, you know, that's just um, from what I personally no see. Well, in my eyes, that is. But like I said, maybe, every, maybe your you might be different. Like, maybe your point of view may be different. But like I said, I can't really answer for everybody but if anyone wants to you know go ahead and you know let me know what it is that I miss or what I'm not understanding in the comments below they can let me know as well as well so I mean the grammar of the story was pretty good I was able to read this just fine so there's that so anyways what did you guys personally think of this um Cree pasta did you enjoy it did you not also, what you have done personally to help make this story a lot better. Feel free to let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'm the Lion Queen. I want to thank you so much for watching today's video. If you're new to my channel, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Ring the bell for notifications to my uploads. So that way, you guys will not miss an upload. Also, if you are if you want to go subscribe to my backup channel known as Miss Dark Shigo, link to that will be in the about page section of my channel. Also, if you're interested in checking out my um DeviantArt account link to that will be in the about page section of my channel um also you guys can go subscribe you know go check out um my twitter account for any of you guys who are interested in following me on twitter link to that will be in the about page section of my channel as well so i guess with that being said i'll be seeing you guys all in the next video peace out and like always please roll the outro because i'm out